So this is part two of decluttering my entire house. If you guys saw my last video, I went through every single room for the most part and decluttered a lot. So I went through my bathroom, my kitchen, my closet. Um, I emptied out like half of my dresser and my bedroom. And today I'm gonna be doing even more stuff. So um, we actually went through our storage bins that are in our basement. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to start decluttering all of Rosie's stuff that I have in the basement. So I've literally just been taking everything that she grows out of and just putting it in storage and not really thinking about it. But I don't just want to save every single little thing for our future kids. So um, right now I have like three huge um, storage bins full of clothes. My goal is to get it down to one for Rosie and one for me. So I'm looking to declutter like half of the stuff that we have for her. Um, so this is where I'm starting and then Brian's going to go and get me more stuff. So I'm only going to keep things I absolutely love Ow, And then, yeah, I'm just trying to remind myself that like, if I make room for stuff, I can always like, I'll have more room to receive what we might need in the future. You know, like we're not going to be without, it's fine. I just get like really attached to things and I'd rather not spend the money on it if we have it. But like, realistically, if I am short on like pants, I'm sure someone will buy my next baby a pair of pants, like at my baby shower or for a gift or, you know, or like I can go and buy like a single pair of pants, not a big deal. So there's no point, point in storing it for like a year or two. Um, I'm not pregnant. So yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it. This feels good. Whenever I start out decluttering, I definitely can tell that I keep a, a few more items than once I get towards the end. I definitely get a little bit more like picky with things the further into it I get. I kind of get into a flow. Um, a little tip for you, something that really helps me is I love listening to audiobooks. And um, there's a free book on Audible called Goodbye Things by Fumio Sasaki. And it is so good, you guys. Every time I listen to it, it motivates me to declutter even more stuff so he basically like goes through every single reason or like argument as to why you might keep things and it just really helps you to be a little bit more rational and not so like emotional with your decision making that being said what was kind of going through my mind during this part was I would find like I would keep a couple of pieces that I I liked a good bit that I would definitely put her in but then I would come across a few items that I was like oh my gosh I'm in love with this like these are my favorite pieces I wish her whole wardrobe looked like this those are the pieces where I can then go back and say okay I actually don't love those first pieces as much as this and I kind of use that as my benchmark and then it actually frees me up to be able to go back and declutter those other items because I came across something that I loved more okay you guys I have these two bins that Brian just brought up some of these things are cute like Rosie just never wear, wore them like I never really put these diaper covers on her and then like this top was just weird we don't like these little like tops on her it feels too mature and weird for a baby but um and then this I just it's super cute but we didn't do a lot of buttons with her um it was just a pain so I never ended up putting her in that stuff I love this. I wish she still fit it. That's one of my favorite things ever. Um, my goal is to only have like a handful of pieces that all go together for each age group. So newborn, um, zero to three months, three to six, six to nine, and so on. Um, I really just like got overwhelmed with her clothes the first time around and I don't want to do that with our next baby. Yeah, and I was finding myself like not like just feeling stressed trying to make sure that she wore every single outfit and then I would still pull out clothes that didn't fit her anymore that she literally never got to wear oh my gosh I'm getting rid of so much this is so great these bows that like need a really specific outfit I'm getting rid of like these are just a lot more simple to style Brian hated this so I'll get rid of that even though I loved it but it's fine here's enough stuff And then I'm putting miscellaneous stuff in a box and then all the clothes are going to go in a bin. Okay guys, it looks like a mess, but this is actually all separated out um, purposefully. So this is everything that I'm keeping and then this is everything that I'm getting rid of. So a few things I'm going to gift to friends and family that are having babies and then everything else will go in our yard sale. The real test is to see if all of this that I'm keeping will fit in this bin.
And I'm not going to fold it just because um, I don't care. And I guess if it doesn't fit, I'll have to go through it again. Okay, it all fit with a little room to spare, so that's great. This gives me a little bit more room to put the things in there that she's currently growing out of. So I'm very happy about this. I feel very proud to be getting rid of all this. I'm also going to be um, decluttering some stuff in this room, thinking about making this gallery wall a little bit more minimal. So I was thinking about taking everything down and just trying it with like one picture to see how I feel. Um, but at the very least, I'd like to at least like rearrange that. I'm kind of tired of the current setup. To like get rid of all this stuff on this table, you can't really see it. But um, this lamp, it I bought it at Goodwill for like $5. It has a short in it and we've just kind of been using it. But we stopped using it because now it, the short got even worse. And I just need to toss it basically. And then um, these other decorations, they're just more things for Rosie to try to um, play with that are not like the safest. So I'm going to get rid of them for now and just have like less clutter in here. Okay, you guys, this is in our creepy basement, but this is everything that's going into the yard sale except this. This is our new countertop. This is the bottom. That's why it's scratched. Anyways, we're redoing our kitchen. But all of this is going in the yard sale. Um, we have like some pillows, a blanket, a picture frame, um, an old rug. Uh, not the pickleballs, actually. This huge bag is just full of clothes. Um, my old robe and yeah, just some like different stuff. So all of this is gonna be out of our house very soon.